in applying the head loss equation, you average one square divided by two z times kinetic energy correction factor z z one plus p one over rho z, and you average at location two divided by two z times kinetic energy correction factor plus z2 plus p2 over rho g and we have this friction head loss here i'm ignoring any of the pump head turbine and any of the minor losses so this friction head loss is given as a product of friction factor times the length of the pipe divided by pipe diameter and average velocity square divided by 2z. So this term F is the friction factor and there are two ways in our MA242 in calculating this value of the friction factor. The first one is to use the Moody chart. In using the Moody chart, um, there are two things you need to know in MA242. First one is the Reynolds number based on the pipe diameter. The second one is the relative pipe roughness. So this Reynolds number following the notation that I used in the lecture, that's the density times average velocity of the pipe at a constant cross section times the diameter of the pipe divided by molecular viscosity. And the relative roughness, basically the average roughness height divided by the pipe diameter. That's the relative roughness. And here we are interested in the finding the friction factor, the value of the friction factor on the vertical axis on the left hand side. So the way you do, you find the friction factor is first you calculate the value of the Reynolds number just using the density of the fluid and molecular viscosity of the fluid and average velocity you calculate it from uh, a flow condition and pipe diameter D. And usually this uh, roughness, average roughness height is given. So this epsilon over D can be calculated. The next thing you want to do is that if the Reynolds number is, for example, million, then you follow this vertical line where the Reynolds number is million. And the next thing you want to do is that if the epsilon over D value is 0 0.001, then we can find the 0 0.001 here. And you stay on this line until this, uh, this curve intersects which is the, the Reynolds number that you calculated. And the next thing you want to do is that you simply read the value of the friction factor corresponding to this intersection. And that turns out to be 0 0.02. So in other words, in, the, in this simple example that I did, so if Reynolds number is 1 million and the relative roughness height is 0 0.001 then my friction factor F according to the Moody chart is 0 0.02.